Welcome to another segment of <clears throat> SII Motivational Minutes with your host, Dwight Lee. And today's segment, we're going to be talking about um, some of Neville's teachings, Neville Goddard. I want to lead right in with this one. Um, Neville believed that the Bible uh, was metaphysical uh, interpretation. So I want to go into um, the story about um, Esau and Jacob. And, uh, you know, in traditional church and everything, it's being taught that this was, you know, a con and he sold his gift for a pot of stew and this, that and the other. But Neville didn't see it from that perspective. He didn't see it with that perception. He didn't see it from that vantage point. Uh, Neville interpreted it uh, to mean um, the old self and the new self. Um, basically, um, the father being within and you um, bridging your gap from your old self to your new self or from version 1.0 to version 2.0, meaning you um, go through an identity shift. You go through a belief shift and that you become a new person and you possess the things that you actually desire, your heart's desires, because the old self is looking at all the reasons why certain things cannot happen. But the new self, because of the identity shift, seeing from a different perspective, seeing with a different perception, seeing from a different vantage point and not being in your body, becoming the observer and looking back and seeing that, hey, all I have to do is improve my level of awareness. Um, improve what I am actually conscious of and I can become a new person, uh, my evolved self, and I can possess a new car, I can possess a new home, I can possess the promotion, I can possess $100,000 in my bank account, so on and so forth. That's the perspective that Neville saw it, so I wanna recap that. Neville took it as a uh, mystical interpretation. Uh, and basically that everything is you, your thoughts, your beliefs, your inner speech, your imagination, uh, controlled imagination uh, being used properly can help you evolve into the person that you need to be to possess the things that you have a heart's desire to possess, like a home, like a, a nice car, like a good job that you have meaning in, there's purpose there, and that you show up for yourself every day and commensurate compensation uh, in alignment with, congruent with um, the spiritual law of compensation and the natural law of compensation. That's what Neville was talking about. So he's talking about bridging the gap from the old self to the new self, from where you are to where you want to be, from version 1.0 to version 2.0 of yourself. Um, we're on SII Motivational Minutes with your host, Dwight Lee, and we're discussing um, principles of Neville Goddard's teachings. And I use the example of uh, Esau and Jacob, the blessing. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll leave you with a quote. Whatever the mind can believe and conceive, it can achieve. Napoleon Hill and the human spirit is so great a thing that could we rightly comprehend the mind of man, nothing would be impossible to man. Thank you.